hello students in this lecture we will learn that how a wankel's rotary engine works okay so i will talk in short okay and i have made these slides so that easily it can be understood that how the wankel's rotary engine works okay so first of all wankel's rotary engine is a sort of rotary engine okay in which there are no as such reciprocating parts okay and i believe that you know that how a uh, four stroke engine works which comprises of the suction of charge compression of charge then ignition working and then exhaust okay the same four processes happens in wankel's rotary engine also okay but in a different fashion okay in a rotary fashion all these four strokes are accomplished okay so coming to the topic c you can see over here there is a casing okay oval shaped casing and there is a rotor okay over which you can see that there are two apex seals are mounted okay what are the seals okay you can see that there is a cap okay this is the isometric view of this seal okay so cap and inside the cap there is a spring so this cap can move by the force of this spring okay in case a spring is compressed the cap will move toward inner side and in case it's expands then cap can move toward outer side okay so what happens that it is in touch with this inner surface of casing okay it is in perfectly touch so the system is in perfect seal okay like this and this is the rotor you can see over which these apex seals are mounted okay now what happens suppose that there is some air trapped inside this region okay between these two apex seals the rotor and this casing okay the region which i am telling okay so some air is trapped or some gas is trapped over here in case this rotor starts spinning in clockwise direction okay like this so what happens that you can see ultimately the gas is over here okay initially you can see that this much volume of air is there so in case this rotor starts spinning since this apex seals are in perfect sealing with this inner surface so when it rotates then the air content will also start moving with it okay so ultimately you can see that now the air volume is smaller as compared to that of initial state because this volume is greater than this volume okay so air is compressed okay in case it spins further again you can see that now air is expanding because the volume is again increasing okay ultimately again increase volume then in case spins further again it is compressed and then again expanded again compressed again expanded like this okay so you would have understood that why this is happening because the apex seals are in perfect touch with the inner surface so by the help of spring wherever it is required it has to expand it will expand by the section of spring and wherever the compression is required the apex seal will be compressed but it will remain in perfect touch with this inner surface of the casing okay now coming to the topic how the wankel's rotary engine works suppose over that system that is the casing and rotor system there are inlet port and outlet port you can see these are the holes okay through which the inlet port is the part from where the charge can enter inside and outlet port is the part from where the exhaust gases can come out okay and this is the spark plug that's it now suppose that some charge is contained in this region okay over here okay charge has gone inside the mixture of petrol and air okay gasoline and air mixture is inside over here and rotor starts spinning okay so what is happening since initially the volume of charge is higher so in case it starts moving and the rotation is clockwise then ultimately it is like this okay so initially the charge was with greater volume okay and finally it is with a smaller volume so this charge is compressed because i told you this apex seals are in perfect sealing with this inner surface so the charge is just dragged toward a low volume region okay that's it by the help of these seals and this casing system okay so ultimately when the charge is compressed okay so uh, by the help of this spark plug spark is introduced so the entire charge you can see is ignited now what happens this charge is ignited heat is added this charge wants to expand okay so since the rotor is rotating in clockwise direction so over the right hand side the charge has opportunity to expand so it will force this rotor force these apex seals to move toward the clockwise okay in this stroke the work is done understood 
initially the charge is ignited by the help of this spark okay now these gases wants to expand so this rotor has already momentum angular momentum in clockwise direction so what will happen over there the charge will get the opportunity to expand because in four stroke engine what happens the suction then compression then charge is ignited then the gases wants to expand so for expansion purpose it will spontaneously rotate toward the clockwise side okay in this stroke what will happen the work is done by this burnt charge okay so you can see charges are expanding ultimately full expansion so in this stroke work is done okay now this is our outlet port so in in case this rotor spins further you can see that now the charge gets opportunity to come out from this exhaust port okay ultimately you can see most of the burnt gases are expelled out from this exhaust port okay again in case rotor spins further so from this suction port okay the fresh charge is sucked inside because initially the volume is smaller okay this small volume region again moving toward the higher volume region okay so what will happen it will start sucking the fresh charge inside though some amount of exhaust gases are still there but it will not make much difference okay fresh charge is pulled inside okay now again it is filled with charge okay again it is compressing ultimately fully compressed a spark is introduced okay charge is ignited so these burnt gases wants to expand so it will push the rotor to spin toward clockwise side spontaneously so in this stroke work is done so entire work is done and the burnt gases are expelled out okay ultimately most of the burnt gases are expelled okay again suction and then full suction okay then compression and then working like this so this is what the principle of working of a wankel's rotary engine okay so in case you want to know it by the help of a model of wankel's rotary engine then you can find it over this link okay so you hope you would have learnt about that what is the working principle of wankel's rotary engine exactly this is not wankel's rotary engine okay just i have told you that what is the principle which occurs inside the wankel's rotary engine so that it works thank you